Hey, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, thank you for being here. My name is Kat and on here we talk about style, fashion, shopping, stuff like that. So if that sounds cool, be sure to like this video, hit subscribe and stick around. Today we are doing a review of some jeans and pants from Good American. Let's do it. is a brand that I have worn before, but I actually have not owned any. There are a lot of styles available for rent. So if you're interested in trying them before you commit to buying them forever, rental is a great option and you can get them from several different rental spots. So I will leave several different coupons below for you. Uh, I've been able to rent them on Newly, Armoire, and on Rent the Runway, and I have coupons for all of those for you. So starting off, we've got a pair of sort of medium wash jeans, like a pretty true kind of blue color. As you can see, they are more of a boot cut, almost a flare, but nothing too dramatic, uh, but definitely getting that boot cut. And what is cool about these actually is, I was just gonna like throw them at my face. You know what's cool about these? They're gonna slap me in the face. Thanks, jeans. Um, what's cool about these is they have got this slit here and I love a cutout in the front like this, a front slit on pants. I get so many compliments when I wear pants or jeans with this cut. People love it and I love it too and it's very comfortable as well and honestly helps with the fit. You know, throw them over there. Um, but what's extra cool about these is that in the front, and you'll see when I put them on, it actually does have the, the seam comes around from the back kind of, and then opens up into that slit. So that's pretty cool. So with these at the moment in jeans, I have been wearing a US 12 or 14. So in these ones, what did I pick up? I picked up a 14, which for Good American does correspond to a 32. And um, I have already tried these on, so spoiler alert, they do fit very nicely. So that was a good fit for me. I think part of that is that there's some stretch in the waist, but not a ton. So in this case, I went with the larger of the two sizes I would normally consider, and I was glad that I did. I was also glad that I did for length, and you'll see why in a second. So let's try them on. So also, um, I am trying these on today with this tank from Target. I have shouted out this tank before. I love it. I have it in a bunch of colors. I picked it up earlier this year. I'll link it below for you because it is a great tank. I really, really like it. Like it's very soft and stretchy for a ribbed tank. So if you're in, if you're in the market for a ribbed tank, this one's great. Um, I will link everything below that I can. Anything that is currently available for purchase, I will link. Um, anything that I can link to that is available for rent, um, I will do that as well. Others, you'll be able to go onto the rental site and just search for the brand. And yes, I will link everything, as I said, that's available available for purchase as well. They'll all be in one LTK album. So they are commissionable links. So if you do choose to make a purchase while clicking on that link, it supports the channel. So that would be very much appreciated. Of course, as always, no pressure, but if you want it anyway and want to support the channel, you can have both. Nice fit on these um there's not a ton of stretch there is on me a tiny bit of gapping in the back there's plenty of room in the butt which is something i always think about because i do have a butt to put in there um but i would say that maybe for me because i'm pretty tall between 5 9 and 5 10 i think that the rise could be a little bit longer on these and would suit my shape better so if you are tall especially if you're tall and do have wider hips or a butt measurement that you consider, the rise on these could be a little short because it's kind of stretching it out a bit. And that is the reason that I think I'm getting a tiny bit of gapping. Nothing that a belt wouldn't completely fix, but I don't know if I would always want to wear a belt with these. I do think that if the rise were longer, I might be able to size down. They're relatively tight throughout the thighs, but there's a fair amount of stretch there. And so I think that with that gap, 
gapping, going one size down could fix it. It's just that if I went one size down now, I think they would ride up like crazy because again, that rise measurement is pretty average. So I'm not saying it's short. If you are average height or shorter, you're probably going to be just fine. Um, but if you are taller like me, that could be a bit of an issue. It is not too short. It's certainly not too long, but it is not too short. But I did pair these with some wedges and it definitely felt very much on the verge of being too short. So again, if you're tall or if you have very long legs and that makes up a lot of your measurement, of your height measurement, you might just be aware that these are probably something that you would want to wear a lower wedge with or something with a smaller heel like a block heel sandal would be really cute um, or you know sneakers or something could be great here also but yeah it they could be too short if you are any taller than me here's our next pair also different day different hair deal with it um so this one's a little tight so i just wanted to show you that um I'm going to try to tuck it in because, yeah, it's tight enough that I'm a little worried about tucking it in even with this tank top, uh, though I think it'll be possible. Just want you to know why it looks like it's too tight. It's because it's too tight. Um, I did wear these for a short period of time. Um, and was able to do so by not tucking anything in. But I feel like this style is really the kind of style that you would want to tuck something in. So I would definitely need to size up on these. So uh, just initially, they are this fun brown color. I feel like this is very in at the moment. It's kind of a color that I would not have always considered. And at the moment, I'm like, cute so it must be um you know in in the zeitgeist to like this um and uh these ones i got from armoire so i'll have that armoire coupon arm arm coupon i'll have that armoire coupon for you so that you can use that if these appeal i think these run small so i went with the larger of my two sizes and they're still too small so I would want to size up even more. And even then, for me, I would worry that these wouldn't have enough stretch. So like moving my legs around, um, it's like, <laughs> it's like going to tip me over. It's like, whoa, um, because there's truly so little stretch in these that you move one part, moves the entire thing. Let me show you the length though. They are very cute. And I think the shape is really flattering. So the length on these, I think on someone shorter, again, I'm between 5'9 and 5'10, on someone shorter, these could be much closer to a full length. On me, they're obviously uh, decidedly cropped. But I think the shape, this very like straight leg with the crop, I think that's cute and I like that. I'd love to like show off a fun shoe with these. The more I wear them, the more comfortable they are. And I wanna be clear, let me show you the back of them too. Here's what the back looks like. Gotta stand up a bit. That's the back. Uh, and I want to be really clear. It is not that they're uncomfortably small. It's that they are impractically small. So even closing these, it isn't uncomfortable. Like they're hitting at the right spot. And it's like, you know, they're just this type of jean that you have to like pull up and then like suck it in and put them on. And then once they're on, it's like, oh, okay, they're jeans. Um, and so it's not like, I guess I, I have the slightest worry that if I size up, they aren't quite going to have the right fit. I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't deter you from sizing up, but truly, if you're in between sizes, absolutely go with the larger one. Okay, so next up, wanted to get a bit more adventurous uh, and go for a shape that I don't always wear. Uh, again, renting, it's a great time to do that. So I was excited to try these. However, these are a miss for me. So um, yeah, <laughs> I will show you right now the picture on the model. So that is what they're supposed to look like. 
and here's what they look like on me, uh, which I don't think is how they're supposed to fit. Um, but they might fit you great. So listen up. I'm not saying that it's bad at all. It's just not right for me. So the waist fits great. Um, these I got in the 14 and that is seeming to be pretty true to size for the brand for me. So my hip measurement, it's pretty proportionate to my body, but it is one that I consider. And especially because of the rise, because I have a very long, I mean, it's a long torso. It's just a long body. You know, I have a hashtag long body. Um, <laughs> but start using that please. Uh, so yeah, my hashtag long body, uh, a lot of times just where it hits and stuff like my hip measurement is enough to require sizing up that is not the problem here so for me uh it really is i think that the waist doesn't have a lot of stretch and it, the rise is nice on these i think if i were to size down i could still close the waist but the rise would be too short um and I, my butt is filling out. I know there's so much to say about these. I, I feel like it's jumbled in my head. I apologize. I don't usually, I don't usually, I don't even edit my videos all that much, to be honest, because um, they're just not that heavy, you know, but I don't know what to say <laughs> about these. I don't know. So you might already be able to see that there, I am supposed to have hips and I have hips <laughs> and so it's not it it it's not doing this um it is just not the right shape for me but the point that i want to make on this is that a lot of times when i am sizing up for the longer rise it's because with my butt it's pulling the pants back and that is shortening the rise meaning that the waist isn't hitting where i want it to or it could be riding up on these the waist is hitting where i want it to it is not riding up it's really quite comfortable um it's hitting at a really nice spot and i would say like see take a look at the butt i would say i fill out the back very nicely like i think that that is how it is supposed to look very comfortable. I don't feel it pulling, but I also feel like the fabric is stretched. You know what I mean? The fabric, however, on the hips is not stretched. So it is just very much for a silhouette different from mine. So if you have the butt and the hips, these could be a real game changer for you. But if you're like me and you have a butt, but no hips, there's going to be too much hip potentially. So here's what we've got going for the full length. It is a fun shape. And as I said, I rented it because I wanted to see sort of a different shape and a different silhouette. And were it not for these hips that I am not filling out, I think I would like this. I think it's got a fun traditional kind of look. I've been really enjoying the Western aesthetic, which if you've seen some of my other videos, I have spent a lifetime avoiding the Western aesthetic because that is how my family members dressed and stuff. And I was like, that's for old people. And now I'm like, uh-oh, calling myself out a bit. But I actually modeled for a ranch wear uh, place when I was a kid. And so I also thought like, I was like, man, I don't know why I couldn't be picked up by like Abercrombie, but you know, now, now it's hip. Now it's hip. Hello. Hello. I'm model for Corral West right here. Watch out. Okay. So let me show you these ones as well. Kind of want to show you close up because I like this wash. This is a fun to me, very traditional sort of light blue wash. And I think that it is cute. A little bit of distressing. And these ones, I will also show you a picture of what they look like on the model because I have tried these on. They don't look on me the way they look on the model. Now, they might be great for you and I can fully recommend, uh, but they may not be great for me. So let me try them on. Okay, so my initial thought on these is that I think they are too big on me. So in these, I got the 14. I should have gotten the 12. Similar to the last one, 
I think they look great on the butt. I'm really liking them. They're truly very comfortable as well. This is a very comfortable jean. While it doesn't have stretch and is pretty stiff, it's not scratchy or anything like that. And I like where they hit, whether they're hitting where I want them to, or if I pull them down to where they're a bit more and they like sag a tiny bit. I think that's cute. I picked these up because I've been styling some outfits recently uh, with sort of like a nostalgic Y2K kind of thing in mind because I really liked the fashion at that point and I'm excited that we're wearing it again. So these seem perfect for that because they felt like jeans from that era that I really enjoyed um, in that they are a bit wider, like they're not a wide leg, it's a very casual sort of wide pant. You're gonna be in the dance break in a music video in these, which like, isn't that what we always want, right? Like that would be, gosh, that's the dream. You can kind of already tell, I've been touching them a lot, smoothing them down. It's cause the hips are here again. Here they are. These hips are not for me. So they look fine from the side, though like you can see the extra fabric from the side as well. Um, and then from the back, like, again, I think the butt looks nice, but there's extra fabric. And once again, from the front, extra fabric. If I size down, that would make the waist maybe a bit more comfortable for me. It would not fix this hip problem. And that is because I don't have hips to put there. So again, if you have hips to put there, lovely. I think they'll fill this out great and you'll look very good. Uh, I don't have it, so it's just not for me. I would consider the fabrication. I think the fabrication makes a big difference. When it is something like this that is a bit more structured, they have built this in, and that's great if you need it, but if you don't, you will have to kind of reckon with that and decide if you want to wear them as is, which obviously 100% you could, um, but if that would bother you, then that's just kind of how it is. Sizing up or down is not going to make a huge difference there. Whereas if the fabrication is stretchy, like the next pair I'm going to try are stretchy, then it, there's plenty of fabric there that you can fill out, but they haven't decided exactly where you're gonna fill it out. So I would just consider that. So these are a faux leather and the color is like, uh, a burgundy, dark maroon wine kind of color. So definitely a red in there. Um, as you can see, maybe, it is pulling a tiny bit, which is so funny after the last ones, because the last ones weren't doing that at all. And so interestingly, this one, I think it's running a little bit tight. Again, not so much on the butt, but a little bit on the hips. It's, uh, it's a little wild, I don't know. But again, totally comfortable. So sort of a matter of preference in terms of whether you would mind there being a slight pulling here. Um, but there is, but, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, there, there's plenty of room back here. Part of that is also linked to the fact that also on these, this rise is just barely long enough. Uh, I think that it is it is comfortable. Um, I sized up on these two, and maybe if I went another size up, maybe that would make the difference there uh, without becoming too big. I think that might be the case. So I think I would say that these run a little bit small. And I have tried these on, I think the exact same ones in a different color. They come in hot pink and you can rent those on Newly. So they're really stretchy throughout and really comfortable. They're warm, but not ridiculous. If you've worn faux leather pants like this, you know they can get hot. And for these, these are not overly hot. I personally might not wear them dancing, uh, but I would definitely wear these to an, an event and I would not overheat, but that's a personal preference. I do feel, I feel the heat from them being faux leather pants, but not as bad as some that I've worn before. Um, additionally, they are lined here. They are fully, there's my ankle, <laughs> I was going to call it my ankle bracelet. <laughs> it's not that. Hey, 
they're fully lined. <laughs> what a day. I don't know. It's it's Monday while I'm feeling feeling my new outfit. God. I'm okay. Uh, so they are fully lined. Um, and this is a very, very soft God. They, it's <laughs> soft lining. I like the length on them they are definitely long enough for me they could easily be too long for you if you are shorter than me very comfy even just wearing them they're nice they do make a slight that might restrict where you want to wear them that is all I'm reviewing for you today. If you want to see more, drop a comment, let me know. I am enjoying the brand and I feel like there's a lot more that I could learn, but hopefully some of these reviews have been helpful looking at these different shapes. I, I would recommend the brand from having worn them and trying them on, but I do know that when I go to rent one in the future, um, or if I go to buy, I would want to consider a return policy at this point, or I would want to rent. There are a couple stores in my area that do have sections where I could go and try on. I think I would rather do that or buy from a website where I can make a return versus buying on Poshmark at this point. I just feel like there was enough variation between the fits in the hips that I wouldn't be able to guarantee the fit unless it was something I already worn before. But some of the ones that have the wider leg and the less stretchy fabric, I think I'd want to be able to try them before I was going to buy them. And you might be the exact opposite, but hopefully this info today helps you make that choice. I will... Wait... <laughs> <laughs> I will leave a coupon below for all of the places that you can rent Good American. All of my coupons are for your first month, so if you haven't tried the service before, you can use them and get a little discount on that first month. Let me know if you do use them and what you end up renting. Uh, if you have any questions about any of those platforms, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'm always happy to answer. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Like this video if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. I have videos every Monday and sometimes additional videos during the week. So hit that bell icon so that YouTube tells you when the next one comes out. And thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye.